Hi friends! I'm in my closet because I have another confession to make. So all year the army has been trying to recruit our son and it got to the point that he made an appointment with the recruiter and he said it was a private meeting for just the two of them so I went to the ice cream place next door and then suddenly both he and the recruiter were looking through the window at me and I said I'm not signing any papers. So he still had over eight months until he was going to turn 18 and I felt like a lot of things could change between now and then so he could just wait until he turned 18. And all of these personal things happened and then the pandemic and even though things are so crazy in the world right now our son is still set on joining the army. My husband and I thought if we both went in and talked to the recruiter we could explain all of our issues with this decision and get all of our questions answered and just do our darndest to convince our son there are way better options than this. Of course we're worried about the dangers, we're worried about his loss of personal freedom, we worry about the environment that he's going to be exposed to 24-7. So my, my husband was in the Air Force and he grew up in the Air Force, my brother was in the Army, my dad was in the army. We have lots of relatives who've served. And because of what we went through and what we've witnessed our loved ones go through, we just felt like our son has way better options than joining the army and could be more successful doing a trade or something like that. But we didn't realize that the recruiter was going to offer something we couldn't refuse. We each scored a water bottle that says Go Army. It has stars on it. Look, you can see it on both sides. Um, this one's pretty... It's off-center. That doesn't matter because this is high quality. So this is a confession and an unboxing video rolled into one. Uh, pretend this was in a box, okay? And I guess it's more like an unbagging video. But I just want to show you how amazing this bottle is and both of us just immediately felt like oh yeah we'll give our son away to the army for these bad boys um, okay it has a thing on the side that measures the ounces so you know how much you're drinking uh, I don't know if you knew, but dehydration is one of the leading causes of death. And this is crooked, but I think it's still probably accurate enough. And it has these ridges in it right here that it makes it easier to grip onto or something. Okay, it has a lid that you twist off and it has a... It has a flippy cap and then you drink out of this hole right there and it has a toy inside look at that oh. I can do this all day <laughs> okay um, now I'm gonna test it out and see if it does indeed hold water. All right, this is almost at 14 ounces right here. I can take this with me everywhere I go. I can put it in a cup holder in my car. I can put it on my desk while I'm editing. I can keep it next to my bed when I'm crying for hours that my son is joining the army. Um, here, I'm gonna try drinking out of it. Wow, that came out really easy. Um, it doesn't have a strong plastic taste and I can hold it easily with one hand. I don't have to hold it like I'm a baby. It's really has a lot of traction. Wait, this says Go Army Reserve. He's not joining the reserves, he's going active duty. It's fine. Okay. 
Oh, the other side says GoArmy.com. Okay. So this can be either way. This it looks like it's put on with a sticker, but no. Also, if you hold it upside down over your head, it doesn't leak on your head at all. While I'm in here, I'm going to tell you another confession, which I actually confessed to the recruiter. And, you know, I don't think they can prosecute my husband for it now, but it's not a well-known fact that you're not supposed to have public displays of affection while in uniform. And that doesn't make any sense because when you see soldiers coming home from war, they're smooching and hugging everyone. And so when my husband went to basic training, he wrote me a letter and he said, I just found out when you come down to visit for graduation week, I'm not allowed to hold your hand and we're not allowed to kiss or hug or anything. And I thought, I didn't sign up for that. And he had grown up in the Air Force and had never heard of such a thing. So they had this thing called graduation week and they said families weren't allowed to come down until Monday. But I realized it's a free country. So I went on Sunday and decided to go to church with my husband, which was kind of funny because I was waiting on the steps and the guys all wear the exact same thing and they wear the exact same glasses. So every single guy walking towards me who had glasses in the distance, I wasn't sure if it was him or not. And finally, one of them smiled back at me. And when he got into the church, his friend said, make it really quick, make it really quick. So he took me behind a corner and gave me a kiss. But yeah, we did kiss longer than we should have and no one saw and therefore it didn't happen. And then I found out that while we were in church, no one had any jurisdiction over what we did. So we held hands the entire time. It's pretty scandalous. So we had been married for two months when he joined and then he was at basic training for almost another two months. And so of course it was a little difficult to obey the rules. And we made out behind bushes, we made out behind a dumpster, we made out in a movie theater. <laughs> there are very few things to do on base so we saw a few movies that we didn't actually want to see. We just wanted to make out. Um, yeah, and, um, and at the time he was required to be in uniform. Oh, and he graduated on Valentine's Day. And he was required to be in uniform the entire day. And they said, you can go to the Spurs Nugget game in San Antonio, or you can go back to the dorms or whatever they called them at basic training. Of course we wanted to spend time together, so we went to the game. And here it was, it was Valentine's Day. We couldn't hold hands at the game. We weren't interested in the game. And we thought, ooh, let's go on the elevator and make out. But there was an elevator attendant and that ruined everything. So that is the least romantic Valentine's Day we've ever had, I think. I don't know, maybe we got sick at some point, but no, that's what stands out in my mind as being the least romantic Valentine's Day. And then two weeks later, exactly, was my birthday. So when these guys get out of basic training, they go through phases to ease them back into being an adult. My husband had gotten so used to people telling him what to do, he didn't know where to park, he didn't know which washing machine to use at the laundromat. We would pull into a parking lot and he would say, um, where do I park? Where should I park? I'm like, just park somewhere! Pick a parking space! <laughs> like that's not what he was like before basic training. <laughs> Next was his tech school and that was in Wichita Falls, Texas. And the falls are man-made and they're brown. So I was thinking, ooh, a waterfall! Because we, we have a beautiful waterfall here called Snoqualmie Falls, which is a tourist attraction, but no, this was not anything like I hoped it would be. So at first he was required to live on base and I got a crappy little apartment with a girl I went to Texas with. That's a whole other story. I don't really want to get into that right now. <laughs> 
So I went to the housing office and I asked for a list of approved housing and this lady said, well, what are you doing down here? The Air Force wouldn't let you spend your money like that. And I said, okay, well, I have my own money and the Air Force is not my dad. I just asked for a list of housing. I didn't ask for your opinion. I met so many rude people on base already and I just couldn't deal with the control freak attitudes. And sure enough, when our friends got married, they went to a justice of the peace. The husband got married in uniform. And afterwards, when they went to McDonald's, he was holding his new wife's hand. And this guy actually went up to him and chewed him out for disgracing the uniform. So I knew pretty early on, military life was not for me. I had terrible medical care and you don't have the right to sue for malpractice in the military. Anyway, when my husband was in phase one, he had to live on base and he had to wear his uniform all the time. So when he got to tech school, we still couldn't hold hands or anything. And then the next phase, he still had to be on base all the time, but he was allowed to change into civilian clothes after a certain hour. So when my birthday came, he wasn't allowed to leave base he was allowed to wear civilian clothes when he was off duty and so I'm grateful for that at least because we could hold hands <laughs> but my birthday was spent in the crappy little food court and there was a jukebox where people would listen to songs that all sounded the same with just heavy booming bass and it drove me bonkers because you could hardly have a conversation with each other just boom And so I decided I was going to buy myself an entire U2 album. So, <laughs> and people would come in and buy another song and then another U2 song would come, <laughs> but then another U2 song would come on and they would get this really confused look on their faces like, why wasn't my song next? And I didn't say a word. I sat there eating whatever I ordered, probably a sandwich or something from the deli. And I very much enjoyed listening to the whole thing. I think it was Unforgettable Fire. And I watched some poor guy leave after he waited a long time for a song to come on. That's another confession. So in summary, we traded our son to the army for awesome water bottles. Uh, I made out with my husband while he was in uniform and I'm pretty much a horrible person who didn't have the decency to tell people that I bought a whole album for myself on the jukebox. I really should have said, hey, you're going to have to wait a long time because I bought a whole album. All right. Um, well, I guess leave a comment telling me how horrible you think I am and how jealous you are of my water bottle. Thanks so much for watching. I understand if you want to unsubscribe. And if you want to hear all of my terrible confessions in the future, then uh, you should subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. That will tell you every time I post something shocking 